here we have Laura A. Dayu of Horace and Florine Lawrence, 1852 until 1900. I have a real uh, explorative uh, feeling when I want to look at these type of headstones. I feel like they tell stories and I think they're kind of some of my favorite mid-sized headstones. This one belongs to the Lawrences, Florine Lawrence and Horace Lawrence. Florence, Florine Lawrence was born 1833 and passed away 1902 and like I say in a lot of these videos this is a labor of love I feel like it's important for us to document things such as headstones like this which is really really old and as you can see a lot of it is uh, fading away here we have Emma A daughter of Horace and Florine Lawrence, who was born, she died July 8th, 1881, and she was 26 years old, 8 months and 3 days. And over here, um, it doesn't look like there was anything here, but the more we go down, there's moss growing. And, uh, that can be harmful to headstones, so the best thing to keep them clean is a solution called D12, I believe. You can find that on Amazon. We're going to start off here with Sarah. This would be the wife or maybe it would be the daughter. Sometimes people had daughters and they were um, not necessarily considered juniors, but they were named after the mother. Not sure how that part of junior works. And here we have Milton. Milton Dunham. There's not really much information on this guy here, but uh, we're going to move down here and we have Harriet. Not sure if it was a sister or an aunt or what have you. And then we have Homer, Homer Dunham. And then of all people, we have our father. This would be Mosley Dunham. This is a family statue, and from here, we're going to let Mr. Dark, a.k.a. Declan the DJ, take over. Here you go, sir. Alright, so, we have the mother, right here. I think that's, that's, um, Sarah, the mother. Yeah, that's, maybe Sarah, the mother. And then we Sarah move Sarah. over. We the have, the as well. yeah. Then we have the father. That was the father of Sarah, maybe the child. And if we move right over here, here. Um, the imprint right here says Jamet. Uh, no, it says J A Jane. M Jane. There you e go. or N, I'm not M, but N. N. Jane. Jane Dunham. And then, right here, it just says mother. Not sure what's going on. If that's a grandmother to Sarah, or, um, the mother of Sarah's mother. 
could be a grandmother, I'm not really sure. But over here, there's some more scripture. There is Horace Dunham, died July 5th, 1911, aged 78 years old, 11 days. Jane died, Horace Dunham, on October 6th, 1872, and Mary, the wife of Horace. So Horace was married a couple of times, one to Jane, Mary, and maybe Sarah. Um, could have been a playboy. We don't know. She was also Horace's wife. Uh, for a time, she was aged 79 years old. And here we have Sarah, the wife of Homer Dunham, died January 18th, 1910. She was also aged 72 years and 10 months old. And then Homer Dunham died May 27th, 1915, aged 81 years old. His wife, one of his wives, Harriet, um, was the wife of Homer Dunham for some time. She died May 4th, 1869, aged 35 years. Okay, so Harriet was the first wife, and then Sarah and the other girl came in after the picture. So, Milton A., the son of Homer and Harriet Dunham. So, Homer had a child with Harriet, and his name was Milton. He died February 23rd, 1865, aged two months and ten days. He was just a baby, an infant. That's really sad.